And it's a false assumption. So tonight, for this little while, I'll give you three or four reasons why. I believe it's our duty to be a place of encouragement. Now, I, as you study this, I want you to notice that as he calls the church a body, he says some things about it. He talks, number one, you listen to him, about the immensity of Notice if you have your Bible. Verse four, well, we have many members in one body. Now, when he says we have many members in our body, and, but he says they have not all the same office or not all the same function. He, but he goes on to say we're one body in Christ. Now, everybody who has put their faith in Christ has become a member of the body. Uh, many believers, uh, listen, you realize that here's where we are. We're, we're growing church. Amen. Amen. But we're in one body. And you see, what he's trying to say is we've got many members. But, and when you say it's not my responsibility, you're wrong. It is your responsibility. And, and it's your responsibility to encourage. When he says, encourage one another. You say, well, this talks about the spiritual gift of encouragement. Do you realize as you read through the Bible that he, incur that he commands those who don't have the gift to be encouraged? Right. Encourage one another. And it's your responsibility because, why, we're many members. And, and you have to realize that, that there's someone out there who is not going to get what they need if you say, it's not my responsibility to do that. So it talks about the message. We're many but number two, and I'm going somewhere with this, so you stay with me. It talks about the unity of the church. We're many members, but it says, are you listening? In one body. Right. Now, now, the second reason we need to be involved in encouraging others is because we're all on the same team. Yeah, you know, I, I, sometimes I, I just can't understand how Christian people are. You, know, you, you have to realize now. That we're all on the same team. That's right. We're all going to the. And by the way, if you don't like the if the people on this side don't like the people over here, there's a problem. And I'm not saying that's happened. Amen. I'm sorry I pointed that to you, brother. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is there's a problem because listen, there's only one heaven, right. and everybody, regardless of where they go to church, is going to that same place. And everybody in this place, there's not going to be a little section for the people that sit on the right side and the people that sit on the right side. <laughs> we're all going to the same place. And we're all going to the same, you realize we're all on the same team? Hey, we got the same, hey, we got the same commission. Now, everything that we have, we, we hold everything in common. Hey, when I play Christian might, uh, we're all in one body, we're all on the same team. And sees them. Man, we need to do away with that. And you see, we need to realize it. the unity of the church. And we need to encourage one another. And there's only one body. Every one of us is a member. And when one member is weak, the whole body is affected. So that's why we need to encourage one another. Amen. Number two, number three, we, need, I want, we, we ought to be encouraged because of the diversity of the church. Now listen close. We don't all have the same function. Now notice in the verse it says, for we are many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Now it's not talking about offices in the church. I'm not talking about the office of the pastor and the office of the deacon and the Sunday school secretary. I know what that's talking about. It's talking about the same function. We don't all have the same function. And, and here's what you need to realize that we're not all the same. Amen. You know, when we get saved, we all come from a different background. We all have different experiences. And, and when we get saved, we bring all that with us. Amen. That's right. I didn't come from the same place you came from. And you didn't come from the same place I came from. Amen. And you see... There are some people that I can really help because of the things that I've experienced. Right. Yes, 
I can reach out to them and touch them right where they are because I've been where they are. I've walked in their shoes, and I know how the Lord has worked in my life. Listen, I can talk to I can I can talk to some folks, but there's some people that you can help and do things for better than I can. Now, why is that? Because there's some things that you've experienced that I've never been through. And, and, and there's somebody here who is depending on you to minister to them. God wants you. Hey. Hey, and what I'm trying to say to you, there's somebody that is depending on you to help them. To be their encourager. And you say, it's not my responsibility. Oh yeah, it's your responsibility. You're commanded to do. Amen. And, you, and you need to do it. And you see, we're not all the same. We're different. Hey, listen. In the, in the many years that I've been in the ministry, I've had an opportunity to minister to people. About a lot of things that I've experienced in my own family, in my in, in, a lot of things that I've experienced along the way, and God's going to give you that opportunity. And you see, number one, that He talks about the immensity of the church. We're many members. The unity of the church, but we're one body. The diversity of the church, but me being many members, He talks about having not all the same office. Let me give you the, the last thing I'll probably talk to you about tonight. The interdependency of the church. Now, I'm going to give you something here. <laughs> it's not aimed at anybody. I'm going to make some remarks. Don't anybody huff up and get mad, all right? <laughs> Notice what it says. It says we're members one of another. Do you realize that not only are we many members in one body, mm -hmm. not only do we not all have the same function, we're different, but the Bible says that we're connected. We're members of one of another. Amen. Oh, wait a minute now. Preach, I don't understand. Yep. I'm a part of Terry, and Terry's part of me. I could go down the hallway. We're connected as members of the body. Right. Hey, listen. That's it. Hey, by the way, you didn't know it. Your leg's connected to your body. Your arm's connected to your body. And that's exactly what it's talking about. And, and every one of us are connected to the other. I don't know what your function is, but whatever your function is, hey, I'm connected to her. He's a song leader, and I'm the pastor, but we're connected. All right? Amen. And, and we may have a different function, but Brother Her, we're connected to one another. Brother, and this is my sister. Hey, our, our function might be a little different, but we're connected. And we're members of one another, and we're connected, and we relate to one another. We have a responsibility to one another. <laughs> But sometimes people don't want to take that responsibility. I will tell you what. When somebody in it, Calvin makes fun of me all the time because if somebody misses two service, I'm in a tizzy. And he ain't here tonight. I, I, now why is it? I, number one, they're my sheep. I take that responsibility serious. And they're my sheep, and I care about them. And when, and when you hurt, I hurt. And, but a lot of times people don't want, we're living in that day where people don't want to be connected to anything. That's right. <laughs> you know what, listen, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I don't, I don't want to be mean. I just want to give you something, all right? One man said it like this, what we have is a bunch of hitchhikers. <laughs> who say, you buy the car, you pay the insurance, and you fill the car with gas, and I'll ride with you. And if you have an accident, I'll probably sue you. <laughs> and that's the way it is with some church members. You go to the meetings, you fight the battles, you pay the bills, and I'll come along for the ride, but if things don't suit me, I'm bailing out. That's good preaching right there, whether you know it or not. Amen. <laughs> and they're all over the place. You know, uh, you can always tell. <laughs> now, by the way, now, I didn't mean 
abuse of anybody. If you get mad, shame on you. I'll give you the verse that I give everybody. Great peace have they that love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. You look it up, all right? So if you love the word, you'll get, you won't get offended. You can always tell a hitchhiker. Because a hitchhiker will say, I go to or I tend. They don't say, I belong or I'm a member. You need people that will be committed. You know, I need, I need, I need, I'll tell you what, I need people right here. I need people that think Bob really be here for a long time. I, you don't, may not know it. You may not know it. I have. I don't know what's in the future for me. I don't know what tomorrow might hold. But I'm not looking for anything. I've committed my life to this place. I, 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 I'm going to. And if God allows me to, I won't go against God. But if he allows me to, I'm going to be here for you. And you're either going to bury me, or I'm going to bury you. I don't know how to go. But that's the commitment I made. And I'm going to tell you what I need. I need you to make that same commitment. Amen. I'm going to be there. And you're either going to bury me or I'm going to bury you. But, and that's the kind of commitment that we need. Amen. And, and you see, when we do that, what we're doing is we're not only making a commitment to the church, but we're making a commitment to, the, to one another. Because, you see, not only are we, are we many members, in one body, we have not the same office that we're one of another connected. And you see, that means that you're a part of me and I'm a part of you. And I have a responsibility to encourage you and encourage yourself. I picked this up. This is not original for me. Dr. David Jeremiah said this. He said, there's two kinds of people in the church. By the way, <laughs> there's pillars and caterpillars. <laughs> pillars hold the church up. And caterpillars just crawl in and out every week. <laughs> somewhere along the way, if you're going to be encouraged, if you're going to find what you need, Hey, Mike, that's not, I, I, I didn't think that you. Know. You know, I love you. I do want you to be a member, amen. Yeah. Bless God, I want to baptize you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you can be a member here and still go down there, amen. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere along the way, if you're going to be encouraged and get what you need, if you're going to get what you need, are you listening? You might have to be connected. Right. Somewhere. You're going to pay. Brother Rod, I'm connected to him. I was connected to him before he came here. But I'm connected to him now, big time. I made commitments, Brother, Brother Rod. I want to be his partners. I want to be the guy who believes in him. If nobody else believes in him, I'm going to believe in him, Brother. I love him. And that's what I want to be for every one of them. Right. You see, and we need to be a minister where people can come to this place when they're hurt and when they're, they're down and they, they're looking for something, they're looking for love and they're looking for acceptance and we, we bring them in here we don't judge them. Amen. And I'll tell you what, that's why I love when them old boys with them tattoos and them big earrings come in here and, and they say, preacher, and, and they, they go back and they tell, they tell people, you know, they made me feel, they made me feel comfortable, they made me feel wanted there. I'll tell you what, that's what y'all feel when they come in here, amen. Don't think I'm gonna run along, because I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna love them and tell them they need Jesus. And one of these days, if they get saved, I'm gonna see them on the streets of glory. And you see it. We need to be a ministry. That's why Big Bottom Missionary Baptist Church needs to be an encouraging church. Amen. I want you to be part of it. Thank you.